I got a message from Jill Wagner who wrote, I'm trying to record a demo and I can't get the timeline docked back across the bottom of the screen like you show in the project mode. I can get it to dock on the side with the library, but not across the bottom of the demo display like I used to. How do I fix this? Well, I suspect that Jill has uh, turned on panel undocking. To do that, if you're in a Windows system, you click on the Edit drop-down menu and go down to Preferences. If you're on a Mac, it's from the Adobe Captivate menu. And once you're in the Preferences window, you can enable Custom Workspaces Panel Undocking, and this will allow you to undock all the panels like I see here. It does require that you restart Captivate for this to take effect, but as you can see, I can position my panels however I wish, um, my timeline, my film strip, the actual canvas or stage, uh, the properties inspector, my library, and I happen to have my quiz open here. And uh, many of these panels don't have to go back to their original position. Uh, the film strip is a good example of this. Of course, I can dock my film strip along the left-hand edge of the Captivate interface, but I could just as easily dock it down at the bottom here. You'll see that, that works quite well. And if I pull it away, it becomes undocked and then I can bring it to the right hand side if I wish as well. Let me just move the library panel out of the way here. Now when you are docking to one of the edges you can recognize where it's dockable by bringing it close to that edge and you'll notice that it grays out the panel in question and you'll see a gray strip where it's going to dock to as well as a blue line indicating that it's available to dock in that position. So for example, I can pop the film strip over on the right hand side for those maybe who are, you know, thinking on the other side of the brain that they wish to have it over here instead of its traditional spot on the left. You're entirely free to do that. So let me grab the, uh, the film strip there and uh, let's return it back to its original position. The timeline, of course, can go on the bottom. And, you know, when you are selecting it, just grab the black area here and get down towards the edge of one of the sides of Captivate. And there it snaps into position. Uh, and, of course, I can bring the library panel over to its original position here. And in this case, the quiz panel. I can dock it to be combined with the library. So if I hold the quiz panel just over this area here, you'll see the entire library panel uh, gets a blue outline. And of course the quiz panel becomes almost transparent and it will dock together. And I can of course access both of those panels at any time. One thing that I like to do when I'm using uh, this particular style of interface is I actually like to keep my properties panel docked on its own, but next to all the other panels. And the reason you might want to do this, for example, is if you are on a quiz slide and you were looking at uh, selecting one of the items, it gives you easy access to advanced answer option, uh, which allows you to set up specific feedback and actions uh, specific to the uh, individual answers in a multiple choice question. Uh, but it allows you to see a lot more of your parameters at once. And of course, the last uh, element in this particular panel on docking scenarios, I can dock the actual stage or canvas right back to its original position here. Uh, again, it's not actually docking to the edge. In this case, it's going to fill up the remaining space. So you'll see a, a slight blue outline around that space. And when I let go with my mouse, it snaps into position. And I pretty much have Captivate back uh, the way it originally was supposed to look. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.